It's a me locker, boys. You see the text. Fresh off a second straight successful slab. Thanks a bunch, Omar Morales, for the easy beef. We're back in the green at 1681.08, and we head into this week's meat lock, rearing for more tendies. Yo, real quick, though, shout out to Joe Dirt. Appreciate you grilling, chilling with the boys. Way to slab stack out there. Uh, if you're new here, smash that subscribe button. We're trying to hit 300 slabs in 300 hours, so uh, we appreciate you grilling with the boys. Meat lock time, but though, boys, we got uh, our Polish brethren, Matus Gamer Gamrot. Taking on Scott, Hot Sauce Holtzman. I'd love to taste the Hot Sauce. Gamrot's coming here after losing his debut. It was a super close, competitive, simply an awesome fight versus Guram Gutataladze. Shout out to our Georgia brothers. And Guram is a training partner and friend of Hamzat, who we all know is an absolute wolf out there. Guram fought extremely well, but Gamer Gamrot also had his moments in that fight. And it was one that could have gone either way. I know a lot of people thought Gamrot did enough to win that fight, but... Before that, he was 17-0, super hyped up young prospect out of Poland, a dude who was headlining KSW shows and simply smashing people. And I just can't wait for to get back in the octagon because I'm super bullish for his hot sauce Holtzman, who recently was violently flatlined by Benil Dariush. He's a guy who sort of alternates wins and losses, uh, but he is a really solid test for a hyped up but unproven in the UFC gamer camera. Uh, we have, though, seen Hot Sauce struggle against guys with strong wrestling games, like the fight against Nick Lentz, the fight against Drew Dober, and Gamer Gamrot's wrestling, his wrestling-heavy smash game is on a super high level. So Gamrot's a saucy meat lock, but how do you see him getting this done against Hot Sauce? Is it dominant smashing, a pole KO, or maybe even a sub with some Hot Sauce? Talk to me, Doug. Yeah, I, I think this is a... Um... A TKO, ground and pound, some other sesh. I, I think his wrestling is going to be, I mean, obviously very far superior. As you stated, mm -hmm. you know, hot sauce uh, doesn't do too hot when uh, he gets taken down by some wrestlers. Um, and it kind of seems this is like the layup, like, hey, gamer, we like you. We want you to get this W in the UFC. This guy's an OG. Um, he is a killer, mm -hmm. but he's 37. He's on his way out. Let's get him cut. Let's get you the dub. And let's get you back with that confidence and that winning um, you know, momentum, uh, you know, he's a top prospect in a, another Poland guy. He could be, uh, another Poland champ potentially in the future. Um, and you know, Poland, they are diehard fans, uh, for their champions. Um, but yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to go with Gamera. I, I like gamer. I think he's game for this one. Um, I like it by decision. Uh, but I wouldn't be surprised if he gets a nice TKO on the ground. Yeah, I love that assessment 100%. Uh, I think Gamrod is just a straight-up meat lock in this one. 86% of the community is pretty bullish on him as well. Majority of it is beige. They, they like the decision, but you'll see a sliver that's brown and the copper submission. So Gamrod definitely does have a, uh, a vast tool set. I could see him getting it done in any fashion. So we're going to be betting 181.08 at minus 225 odds. It's going to net 80.48 and should net also our 21st meat lock. So we're trying to keep this momentum going. And uh, we see the Polish gamer Gamrot getting his first UFC dub in this absolute meat lock. So any last thoughts on this meat lock? I'm going to go Gamrot as well, but I'm going decision. Any last thoughts? No, uh, I think this is an absolute uh, tendies for the boys this weekend. Um, I mean, there's a lot of good fights and other uh, potential meaties, but this one I think takes the sauce. So uh, yeah, we're going with Gamer. Um, we're getting the bread. We're getting the boys fed. And uh, tune into the next video. The hot sauce for sure. Take it to the grill and get the bill. <laughs>